welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello. My name is Ashley. I post videos every Sunday. Make sure to click that subscribe button down below to join the family. But for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys on my MacBook, how I use it for school, how I use it for daily life, how I use it for YouTube and everything. And I'm going to share with you guys a couple super easy customization tips that I use, nothing too extravagant. So. so the first thing that you see when you open my laptop is my home screen. And I made this home screen on PicMonkey. And it was super easy. All of these pictures, except the one of myself, is from Pinterest. So having a background that kind of like explains yourself or having kind of like a vision board background can be super helpful on like having a better day. I would explain. I chose these pictures and like how I made it. So yet again, I said I made it on PicMonkey. Pictures that kind of had a meaning to me and I kind of used this as like a vision board or some like goals that I have. So in the corner, I have a YouTube plaque with 100K, and honestly, that is a goal of mine, is to hit 100K one day. I know that sounds so crazy right now. I have 3,000 subscribers, but I mean, 100K is a goal that I'm striving for one day, and I put it on my vision board. and kind of remind myself this picture of myself in London. Because I went to London, I loved it. I loved the people there. Everybody was so nice. I hope that I get to travel there again one day. Inspirational quotes that I want to make sure I like look at every day because I do use my laptop every single day. So one says, a full heart is good medicine. And then another one says, at the end of the day, what really matters is what God thinks of me. I feel like that is such a strong quote for me to remind myself because whatever God thinks of me, that's all that matters, not what anybody else thinks. And I don't know, I just really like to see that every day and remind myself, um, hello, you're looking gorgeous today. Also, if nobody told you that today, you look gorgeous today. A time, a Chanel like vintage logo a picture of like a sunset at a beach because i just really like warm weather climates a picture of a super aesthetically looking kitchen and you know i want a cute kitchen in the future one day i guess so i have that on there and it also just looks super cute as a background i will verse on there that i really really like i also have a sticker of it on my laptop so I always have these sticky notes. It's like the simplest thing to find on your MacBook. A lot of people don't even know that they have like sticky notes. So on here, I usually just like put things that I need to get done for the week, for the day, depending on like what I'm doing. To get these sticky notes on your laptop, you're just gonna want to dip in like stickies. It'll pop up in the down bar and then all you have to do is click file, new note. And then you can also change the colors of these. It literally says up here, it says color. So it gives you like a couple colors to choose from and then you can also click like the font that you want so yeah you can change the font you can make it bold you can change the color of the font which i think are super helpful on my screen i have these folders and i like to organize my laptop by using folders i think it's the easiest way to find my things especially when i use my laptop for school and youtube and get really hectic folders to organize everything in so right here i just have like a bunch of folder it just says menu photos my parents own a restaurant and i took all the pictures for the menus youtube folder with all of my youtube related files and show you guys how to add these like colors to your folders so if I want to click new folder, I'm just going to make that. So typically when you get your laptop, you, it comes with these like blue boring folders. I also watched this on like a tutorial video a while back. So I'll have that video linked down below as well in case you guys want to um, check that out. So you want to do is like double click and then click on get info. And then after you do that, you click on this little folder icon up here. And then you do file. No, you do edit copy. And then after you do that, you type in, type in preview in your search bar. After you do that, you do file new from clipboard. And then this thing will pop up with the picture of the folder. And then you just click on this marker thing, the triangle, and then you pretty much just change the folder to whatever color you want. And you can honestly play around with it and like do whatever color you would like to. So here's like a super light pink, white, 
a like blue purple so i'm just gonna do like this purple thing right here so decide what color you want you go to edit select all and then you'll it'll come up with this like plus sign and you just highlight the whole folder do um edit copy and then after you do that you can like click out of that so you go back to the little folder icon up here and click edit paste and you have yourself a colored folder and it looks so cute better than the normal light blue colored folders so it's super easy to just change the colors of those it takes like two minutes to do obviously i want to show you guys like this down bar over here we have like your typical siri calendar pictures and all of that and then i have microsoft word which i use for school that's what i use to type all my essays on I had to type out assignments and stuff i would use microsoft word i have final cut pro which is what i use to edit my youtube videos now and then i have spotify and google chrome and i used to always just use safari but now i only use google chrome i feel like safari has just gotten really slow for my computer maybe i just have to like update it but google chrome as my search engine and i really like that so that's what i have down there and then oh also I, something i wanted to mention i have the macbook pro i think a 2019 macbook pro with the touch bar and i love the touch bar this is the 13 inch touch bar but people always debate on like oh i don't know if i should get the touch bar or not the touch bar is life-changing for school and editing. It makes editing 20 times faster. It makes doing schoolwork a lot easier because, I don't know, everything's like at the touch bar. So even when I like text off my MacBook, there's emojis that I can just scroll through and like type in or when I'm typing a paper and bold and change the size of the letters. Touch bar is definitely a game changer. I think it's definitely worth it. I 10 out of 10 recommend the touch bar i just wanted to say that because i totally think it's worth it i watched a video and this girl was like i didn't want to spend more money because i feel like the touch bar is useless well it's not useless it's really good and i really use it i think it's super handy but yeah i don't know you can't you can't really have an opinion on the touch bar if you haven't used the touch bar thing that i want to show you guys is the time clock that you see like every influencer have on their lock screen to get that super cool like aesthetically pleasing time clock all you have to do is go to just type in flip clock on google and then go to their website go to their website and then it shows you how to download it mac i just click download and then it downloads and as you can see it literally gives you the instructions on the website i'm not gonna um download it again but i'm just going to quickly show you guys after you download it to system preferences and then you go to desktop and screensaver and you scroll all the way down and it should appear in like the corner so you just click it and then you can like choose like when you want it to show up so let's say if you want it to show up after five minutes of you not being on your computer then it just shows up now we're gonna go to the launch pad and the launch pad is your iphone is like where you scroll through the apps where you scroll through to find the apps and it comes with so many i like don't even use so it just has like facetime i promise that i don't have 200 missed facetime calls photo booth photos um i used to use imovie for the longest time to edit but i started using final cut pro a couple months back um, it has iTunes, your calculator, just your typical stuff that it comes with. And then I have all of the Microsoft, like PowerPoint, the email, the Excel, the Word. College actually let us like download them for free because since it's like included in our tuition or whatever. I had quite an experience with Microsoft Excel this semester and I just never want to use it again for a while because I'm just kind of like so sick of it. Camera thing, which is if I want to upload footage from my camera directly to my laptop i use this and then i have google chrome spotify the sticky notes final cut pro Let's go webex meetings is what i would use for like my online zoom stuff so i feel like a lot of universities used zoom users that wanted to do like online meetings with us we used webex meetings and 
It was actually super easy to use and that was kind of like my Zoom online thing at Webex meetings. So I still have that on there. And then over here is just like a bunch of random stuff that I just grouped into one little cube because I never use them. And then same thing with this, I don't use any of that. So I use my MacBook Pro for school and YouTube. The way I use it is I organize everything in files. Show you guys my little like finder which has like a bunch of my downloads on there. I want to review anything from my project yet so I not gonna click on that just want to say i really do love this computer i think it's totally worth the money since i use it for school and i use it for youtube everything for today's video if you guys enjoyed this what's on my macbook pro make sure to give this video a thumbs up and if, make sure to subscribe down below to join the family it is a great time over here if you guys have like any more questions about like the macbook and stuff trouble like with any of the customizations make sure to comment down below and i will always be responding to your comments. So see you guys in my next video. Bye.